Through this basic scroll trigger setup, this is where the magic begins. First, I'm using gsap.2, which means I'm animating elements to these new values. I'm targeting all elements with the class box inside the scroll trigger object. Here's what each option does. The trigger is set to dot stack. This means our animation will activate when the entire stack section enters the viewport. It's like setting a motion sensor on that element. Start top bottom means start the animation when the top of our trigger element hits the bottom of the viewport. So when the stack section first comes into view from the bottom, that's our green light. I've set markers, true, which is incredibly helpful for debugging. This shows colored markers on the page so you can visually see where your animation starts and ends. I always use this while building. Now for the actual animation properties, I'm moving the boxes 300 pixels on the x-axis over 3 seconds with a smooth easing curve.